on everybody it's Craig and I'm back with a little bit of a haul video um, a lot of this stuff has been accumulating past couple of days one box has actually been sitting on the side of my door f uh, for about a couple of weeks uh, so you know nothing too crazy some pins one or two items but I'm gonna start with something I opened up first but my reason for showing it off is because it was just so well done um, and it was a pin set and I, I say this all the time if you're into pins the horror pin game group on Facebook is one of the best places to be because not only is it a community with a lot of people that are into the same stuff but a lot of drops take place on there sometimes I found out about stuff on there that I would have never had a chance to get if I wasn't on there because they were sold out prior so these first two pin set um, on Instagram you'll see the Instagram down below for Matt Simmons but it is based off of the Scream franchise and there is a ton of screen pins of Ghostface. And Ghostface is in this. But I haven't seen any personally that have Sydney. In fact, the only uh, pins I have of Nev Campbell, I have one from The Craft. So I do think these are kind of neat. So first I'll show the original. And these are huge pins. And I do want to sort of give uh, Matt like a heads up, not a heads up, a shout out, a thank you. When I originally ordered this, I accidentally ordered two of each. And I saw it right away. I'm like, hey man, can you do me a favor? I understand that. You know, you're trying to hit a number, so I didn't want to affect that. Production, not production, but I accidentally ordered two. Could you uh, cancel one of them? If not, no big deal. I'll get it. I'll, I'll trade off, sell off. And he, right away, literally, as soon as I sent it, he did that for me. So I got that one, and I got the Stab variant. Again, these are quite sizable. I don't know if I'll put these both on the same pin board, just because, you know, like, they both have sort of their own element. But I'm sure I can come up with a... Like the fictitious movie pin board, real movie pin board, etc. But I like that a lot. Okay. The next pin um, comes from the Hiss Envelope, which I did slice open. Um, and I am ecstatic with this. Because I wanted, there's a good George Romero pin for a while before he passed. And then obviously after he passed, it became a lot harder to get, which I get. You know, that's, that's how it works out. But there was, this was a drop, and it was some kink shame. Of George Romero and some of the sort of iconic peak creatures or non-zombies uh, of his films. But that is a very nice pin. I do not know if there are any of these left. Um, check out their site. Um, I guess just Google King Shame. It doesn't have a www on here for me to tell you what it is. But, I mean, artistically it's a small pin. But definitely not lacking in any details. So that's great. Next we have... The Horror Corner. I'm not sure what this pin is. When I first saw it, I thought it was a Horror Host. And then I was going to say, oh, maybe it was the 10th in the Horror Hand series. But it's the Horror Corner, so we'll find out together. Oh, this is great. This is great. And this was a pin I wasn't able to order right away. Because I was sort of saving some cash. And then I got my paycheck and I was able to do that. But Horror Corner, you have the killers from Your Next. And just because I happened to open everything in this vicinity, and I haven't hung these up yet, you might remember from a previous video I shared this one, I have Erin, the heroine from your next. So, you know what, size-wise, obviously not made by the same person, so Erin is a lot bigger, but you know what, considering Erin, spoiler, kicked the ever-loving shit out of him, it makes sense. So, kudos to this pin, this one was in my previous opening. Check that back out to see where that's from. And last, as far as the pins go, we have, oh, oh by the way, Harcorn also included. Nice little sticker from it as well. And then here is their card, Harcorn, etc. Very nice. And then the last one, the last one's pin set. I probably paid a little more for what I need to. Um, I tried to get the first series on eBay. You know, before the, not this, not this printing. I don't care about first printing, second printing, all that. I'm not into it that way like when i used to collect comics yes i was into it there but for me it's more, more about the displayability of it and i forgot forgot i forgot to bid on freaking on something and i have annoyance for not forgetting to bid on it i sort of seeked out where i could get it uh no oh, free prize inside that's pretty neat i'll check that out in a bit and annoyance of not getting it i sort of checked around and i saw they have them back up on their site so i'm going to show you what these are the bulk of them are all part of the Victim series from Friday the 13th. But in addition to that, I got another pin that 
I think was sold out for Prime, but um, Fright, Fright Rags doesn't, they don't, you know, it's not like once the numbers hit, if there's enough demand for it, they're going to produce it again, which I don't have a problem with. I know some people have issues with that because it's like, oh, it should be exclusive, etc. I guess it's all relative to why you collect. If you collect to have the items because you think they're neat, or if you think you, you collect to have the items because you think they're going to be worth money. I don't know if collecting pins is the area for profitability. Can be. I know mean, that's the point of what some people do, but not me. So we have, first and foremost, from Halloween, Halloween 2, you know, when he stabs the nurse in the back and picks her up, which, that is such a good scene. It is a sliding pin, too, so she goes up. That's That probably is one of the cooler actual Michael Myers pins I have. I have the, the, the nice Butcher Vision set from Halloween 3. I also have a lot of the matchups, like the Michael Myers hat, or the, you know, where he's dressed like Austin Powers. Like, looks great, but as far as an actual Michael Myers, that might be the best. And now as far as the pins, uh, the Camp Blood series, the victim pins, we have the Hitchhiker, you know, who was eating her banana and didn't have a sister, unfortunately, so she didn't get picked up. We have Shelly, who I think is everyone's favorite, like Shelly Part 3. Um, whose death you didn't see. I mean, you just saw his throat thrashed open. I kind of would have liked to have seen his death personally. Um, but, you know, the fact that Jason sort of came out wearing the mask and the girl thought, oh, stop kidding around, Shelly. And the next thing you know, Jason is a master archer. And he gets a pretty good. Right through the eye, right, if I remember right. And these are the other three. Who we have... We have Jack. That's, of course, the iconic arrow through the throat. Who does not remember that scene? We have, trying to think who the other ones are. We have, okay, Demon. Which, you know, you know where Demon gets killed. You know, and that was, it's probably not the, everyone's favorite place to get killed, right? Demon, the one, I believe Demon's one fluff. I hope I'm not wrong. I hope Demon wasn't one of the, um, the thieves in, in part three. I think Demon was one of the ones in part five. Correct me if I'm wrong. And then the last one is a buddy, Mark. I believe Mark was the one in the wheelchair, right? He got hit in the head, and then the wheelchair goes back again. Feel free to yell at me if I'm wrong. Friday the 13th, though, is typically the series I know the most about of the originals. I'll be honest, when it comes to Weatherface, it's the one I know the least about, because I've probably seen most of them only once. Um, let's see the free prize inside. Is it a pin? It feels, no, I don't know what it feels like. But it's free, the prize. This is an unboxing, so yay. So let's see, it is a pin. Oh, we got a card from... Okay, J Jody Vale. So we got a card from Creepshow. Very nice. And we got another st a sticker. And the prize is... Oh. Okay, we got an extremely sour warhead. So not a pin. It's a card, a couple of stickers. Oh, it's not that mad. I don't expect freebies thrown in. They're nice when they happen, and if they don't happen, again, no big deal. Probably, probably won't have the warhead. But, next item, this is the thing that I said was just sitting by my door for a very long time, because I knew what it is. You see Root Crate Anime on there, it is not Root Crate Anime. It was something I bought from the Root Crate bulk sale, and I only bought it because it was five bucks. And I know this annoyed people that this was this cheap. They also had the one Predator figure really cheap. Because they go, oh, why are we paying premiums for box if you're going to sell some items that cheap on the second day market? Well, here's the thing. When it comes to buying the mystery boxes, it's always a either at risk. Some of them sell out. If they sell out, then that doesn't happen. Um, also, items only worth what someone's willing to pay for it. So they had this high on the store, and people didn't buy it. Um, but went down to five. Everyone pounced on it. So we have a nice little statue. It's still it's not $5 anymore, folks. It's actually sold out, I believe. We have a nice little statue from The Thing. I'm not going to take it out of the holding because it's taped down uh, and strapped in there. And it's, this will probably be how I display it. Just because then I could stack stuff on top of it. It's not about, you know, keeping the box to save the value. Because I told you I paid five bucks for it. The very last item, which kind of looks a little bit like this statue. But it's not. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you saw I had a excellent... Um, Cinema Fear, screen grab haul. Um, I, I had a chance to get a big lot of them for a price I freaking just couldn't pass up. That's part of the reason why it took me so long to get back to grabbing some of the pins I wanted, because 
how to let the savings to sort of build back up. Uh, there is tape on every freaking corner. There's tape over the tape over the tape. Okay. Okay, boom. So, I'm going to put this down here. So, if you saw that, you saw I got, I got just about every one I would have wanted. But I did say at the time, there was one I was missing. At least one I knew of that I was missing. Um, the way this magical world of correcting pops up is... There's plenty of stuff that surfaces that you find out about. There's like, oh, they make that too? But as far as the ones I know of, and this person wrapped these really tremendously, this is the only one I was missing. So for me, this is the third one in the Friday the 13th series. Uh -huh. <laughs> and again, if you watch my channel, you know which ones I got. So this is the only box one from Friday the 13th, which is cool because I have the Jason boxed one of him coming out of the water in part one. I have the Weatherface box one of him reaching out the door, pulling the guy back in, or when he kind of clubs him with the mallet. So now we have Freddy, what is this, this is part three, if I believe, right? Yes, Dream Warriors. The iconic the worm scene. And let's see if I can fold this down just so you can't see. You would go there. I can't see you, but hopefully you can see the item. I think that looks great. Um, we have a better image of it on the side, so you can sort of see what, how it goes. These screen grabs were such a unique idea. And I'll be honest, I discovered these much later on. Otherwise, I would have hopefully been able to buy them for what they came for out for. But this wasn't too bad. I think I got this for 40 bucks, um, which is a little bit lower than they seem to trend that in box. You know, the other ones I got in that big lot, freaking huge scores, which is why I found up wanting to get this so I complete the set. I am somewhat of a completionist. But that said, folks, as always, thanks for checking my video. A little reminder, I have a contest running. It's probably one of the videos slightly few few down from here. Uh, it, it's a pretty cool contest. Some good stuff can be included as prizes. Uh, take a look at it. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I always like the feedback. You guys have a good one.